But what about Cleveland? Because they've got a, a big man heavy rotation that they rely on, but a couple of those guys are dealing with some injuries of their own. Yeah, Cleveland's fallen behind Toronto. They're in seventh. They're in the play-in right now. You know, so much of the success of this Cleveland team who had been a top five defensive team for most of the season. It was built around their two seven footers, Jared Allen, their all star seven footer, and Evan Mobley, very likely the NBA's rookie of the year. Allen has been out uh, for a couple weeks now with a fractured finger. There is optimism, a hope at least, that he can be back before the playoffs. You know, he's been able to really do everything on the court, you know, but use that finger, use that hand to play, but they hope. He'll, he'll have all his conditioning if he can get uh, the, the finger healed enough. He didn't have surgery on it. And then Evan Mobley, who turned uh, an ankle, he is out tonight. He is out for the next two games. He'll miss three. They need that swelling to go down on Evan Mobley's ankle. They're hoping by early next week, you know, they may be able to have a chance to get Mobley back on the court and have a team that's going to be very dangerous in a play-in or the playoffs. You know, that was really certainly one of the least elite before they were faced with injuries, you know, really throughout this season. Yeah, Mobley, Jared Allen, of course, you had Laurie Market, and that's why that team has been such a, a dynamic story so far in the NBA. We'll see if they get healthy when we get to the playoffs. Adrian Wojnarowski here on NBA Countdown. Appreciate you. Thanks, Mike. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.